TC Summer Fest, hosted by the Minnesota Twins, happened last weekend with concerts by Imagine Dragons and The Killers. Imitation is the sincerest form of flattery, but it can also get you sued. Milwaukee World Festival Incorporated has had a trademark on Summerfest since 1972. And even though the Twins hit the space bar between summer and fest, the world's largest music festival is not happy. Don't take the law into your own hands. You take them to court. In the lawsuit, Summerfest says that both fans and the media are confusing the real Summerfest with the dollar store version in the Twin Cities, and it's hurting the brand. Now, what isn't included in the lawsuit is that on the baseball diamond, the Minnesota Twins have a decades-long history of both cheating and shenanigans. 1987, Twins pitcher Joe Necro busted. Using a nail file to Dr. Baseballs, he tries to hide the evidence, but the umps weren't fooled. Game two of the 1991 World Series. First baseman Kent Herbeck physically lifts Ron Gant off the bag. You can't do that. But the umpire inexplicably calls Gant out. The Twins would win that game by one run, go on to win the World Series. And in 2017, Carlos Correa was the face of the Houston Astros cheating scandal. The Dodgers won't even sign him, but the Twins' moral compass directed them to give Correa a new six-year, $200 million contract. The Twins are not the only ones calling their little off-brand festival a summer fest. In fact, with a quick internet search, I found about 20 of them. You can see them right here. Now, in the lawsuit, Milwaukee World Festival says they sent out 32 cease and desist letters for festivals around the country, and only four have not come to some sort of agreement with them. But I spoke to one legal expert who says he doesn't think the Twins are going to play ball. But I don't think that there's a super strong legal foundation for a claim here, and I don't believe that the Twins do either. Aaron Solomon, chief legal analyst for Esquire Digital. He says any Major League Baseball team has deep pockets for a defense, and it will be hard to prove in court that people are actually mistaking the knockoff Summerfest with the genuine article. I personally would be very surprised if they get testimony from anybody who says, yeah, I thought it was going to Milwaukee. So will the Twins get away with shenanigans once again? Maybe. But Solomon also calls all the attention around this lawsuit a big win for the genuine article, The Summerfest We Know and Love. I guarantee that a lot of people, and I can underline a lot, have heard of this because of Milwaukee's strong stance on trying to defend what they see as their intellectual property.